can now travel north on I-29. The once flooded interstate reopened this morning. I-29 from St. Joseph to Iowa has been closed since April 4th. It had to be repaired after extreme flooding there. This is big news for drivers heading north. The trip to Omaha is usually three hours, but the detour around I-29 was causing it to be about five hours. So back open today. Also relieved are businesses along I-29. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dow talked with one business manager who feared her store might go under if the interstate didn't reopen soon. For more than a month, the gas pumps here at Phillips 66 near Big Lake have virtually gone untouched. Now I-29 is back open and they hope to see more business. But meanwhile, dozens of flood victims are behind the gas station calling this place home as they try to rebuild. It's been miserable. It felt like the earth stood still in a way at this gas station off of I-29. Five weeks to go through a load of gas that we normally go through in a day. Have you ever seen that? No. Business so slow, they didn't even buy diesel fuel for a month. When we came to this area months ago, floodwaters covered farms and homes. We've had literally no traffic. So that's our bread and butter. <laughs> Some people right now are living in there. Right now out of my camper. The owner of that Phillips 66 owns the hotel behind it. They let flood victims stay here at a discounted rate. They're letting them store it for free. They're pe putting people up in the hotel for cheaper rates because they're flood victims. I mean, what they've done for us is just amazing. Now that I-29 is back open, business will return. But for the flood victims, the impact is longer. Hopefully they'll go back to normal, yeah. We'll welcome them back with open arms. Many living in this area tell me that they're hoping the Army Corps of Engineers will work with other officials to prevent something like this from happening in the future. Reporting, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.